uh, why this uh, this equipment, this uh, gyrometer is uh, is uh, better than the your competitors? Well, this instrument uses a gold film technology, and what that means is that inside this instrument, instead of using a chemical cell, we're using the gold film. Mm -hmm. The gold film allows us to read much lower, so that's why we're able to get the low parts per billion, three parts per billion, down to twenty parts per trillion. Mm -hmm. That's mainly the secret for that. That's the other reason why these instruments are so big, because they have to pull the air into it. It's just part of the trade-off with the equipment. So you get very low readings, but they have to be about this size. You have all the stuff in there to make it operate correctly. So which is the volume you have? Uh, you, you should have like a, a chamber inside, right? With the air and with a certain volume. Right, so it is a boxcar sample. Mm -hmm. This unit will take anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds to pull air. Mm -hmm. And when it's done that, it provides you with a reading. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and uh, which is the resolution of uh, this uh, equipment? This will go down, this will show down to 0 0.001 dpb. We calibrate it down to 0 0.003. Huh. So you can measure actually ambient, uh, ambient uh, H2S. Right, so we're actually measuring the H2S in here because it smells a little sewer. Ah. Right and ah. the instrument's been telling us it's 2 ppb right now. You can see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these instruments are battery operated. This is a six hour battery, this is a 17 hour battery. Uh -huh. The advantage of this unit here is not only can it read much lower, everything is menu driven now, but it's also got the USB flash drive in the back. Mm -hmm. So you can record your data, you stick it in the thumb drive, bam, you're done. Mm -hmm. hmm. Very interesting. And this one? That is that. Yeah. That's one of our stationary units. Essentially, it's uh, the smaller handheld unit comes out of a box designed for long-term monitoring. How, how uh, like, do you have a battery inside, or it has to be? Uh, it has to be plugged in, uh -huh. 120 or 220 AC, based mm -hmm. on which version you get with. It's got a radio system on there, samples from down here. This is an AC heater unit. Uh-huh. Ah. Four to 20 milliamp. And uh, can you speak? Maybe not uh, here about the cost, more or less, about of the equipment. Well, in the U.S. Uh, around, uh, I mean, in the U.S. Yes. Around twenty-four thousand dollars is what the. Uh huh. Be. Okay, and how often does it need to be calibrated? Because you know sensors tend to trends to stay after a year, after two years. Which kind of sensor does this uh, equipment uses? Well, these all use the gold film. Uh huh. And so what you need to do is you need to calibrate these instruments at least with the handheld ones over here once a year. Uh -huh. You'll need to see us for that. Mm -hmm. It takes about two weeks to do it. Have an entire room that does the process. It's uh -huh. a multi-level <laughs> multi calibration. Uh -huh. This unit here, we need to see it at least once every three months based on use. Once every three months, okay. Just because it's testing all the time. Now, some people are able to do six months or longer mm -hmm. based on their sampling duration. Okay, and uh, how often does the it takes uh, how the, the measurement every minute, every 10 minutes, every an hour, or? You can have it do every minute, you uh -huh. can do every five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hour, every two hours. Oh, so you great. can tell it what you would like. This is a very good idea. Congratulations. Yes. Okay.